How you going, Libra? I have your uh, daily read for you today. I hope you're having a lovely, beautiful day. We're going to get straight into it pretty much. Um, if it doesn't resonate, don't force it. If it does resonate, give me a like, a subscribe, um, some sort of um, comment. <laughs> um, I hope you're having a lovely, beautiful day. Um, and don't, yeah, don't force it, yeah? Don't force it, because that's where this guy will play, yeah? If you force it, this is where this one gets to play, yeah? Because he plays on your mind. You don't want to do that. Yeah, that's why you find the ones that resonate with your story because not not everybody's not every reading is everybody's story, yeah. The devil leads to releasing the devil, yeah. Love it with enthusiasm. Um, yeah, that devil man is manipulation in itself, yeah. Release it with enthusiasm and faith. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, beautiful, yeah. You work very, very hard on it. All right, this card is releasing burdens. And what is a burden? That's a burden. Anything that plays in your mind, anything that you need to release in itself, um, anything in, in any way, type of way of manipulation, because he's the subordinate mind, yeah? That's what that's what he is, right? He, he's like um, this DK, bondage, malevolence, uh, weird experiences, uh, the seeming inability to realise one's goals, it's shock and it's selfishness in itself. But yeah, it's it's... It's a horrible thing, okay? And it's like you, you're at this present moment, you're releasing that at one, two, three on the clock, which shows you, you're like balance. You're like you are balanced. Like the Libra is balanced. Like the Libra energy is mutality through conscientious actions in, in the relationships as well. There's morals there, co cooperative. Um, you're a very beautiful, fair, just, agree at impartial, harmonious sign. And, um, and look, that's literally where it's coming to. Yeah, infectious enthusiasm, harmony within that. Once you release that burden of whatever it is, um, that toxicity in some sort of way, it's like you have complete and utter connection with the divine because that's a that's a spiritual guru, yeah? And that's what he is. But he's a powerful lesson. He can be a spiritual leader. You could be um, enlightened or be on your journey for enlightenment as he ascends. Uh, that could be your awakening. You, you could be in service of spirit. You could be... Uh, but finding your own path on an awakened soul, but transformation and transcendence for new paradigms, yeah? This is like listening to the wisdom of your heart. This what these two screams, because you, she's enthusiasm in itself, and then he's, well, this card is, um, that is definitely listening to the messages and, and what, your, what beliefs, it could also mean what beliefs are getting in your way, because we do have the burdens beforehand, like what beliefs are getting in your way from having... Um, the infectious enthusiasm, but I don't see that because we do have divine timing, um, patience, harmony, um, the blending of masculine to feminine energies, and see how the um, the angel there watches over you, keeping safe. That's what I call the temperance angel, and the temperance angel always watch over you, keeping you safe, um, especially when that devil's around in the way of manipulation, things like that. Leave like, this is beautiful. Um, all right, we're going to go from the temperance angel uh, to the next card, which is this one. Yeah, look, we've gone from infectious enthusiasm and energy to charismatic energy. This is beating to your own drum. This is being who you are. This is unconditionally you. Um, whatever your traits are, embracing them. Whatever whatever you are as a person, embracing that and loving that about yourself. And that's exactly what she is. With the Knight of Wands, I love the Knight of Wands. She's a, a beautiful card to have. Um, yeah, she's like in the purest, in the purest form, right? This is her, I, in the pursuit of the imagined, I manifest infectious inspiration. And that's what she is. She's fast energy, but she's someone who enters and leaves quickly, maybe, but she's enthusiasm um, and the spirit energy that gets things done. And that's the truth. Uh, all the knights are different. They're erratic, you know, pages are childish, uh, but they're messengers. They can be um, seen that way, but they can also be embracing that inner child. Um, and the, the knights are erratic, yeah? And so the knight of um, pentacles is hard work and determination. It's very methodical. Uh, the knight of um, swords is um, somebody who's, I don't know, pursuit, um, very fast, strong, wit, like a save, like a hero type saves the day, yeah? Um, once you get to this one, it's like you're erratic and like you're passionate. And this is what this is. Then it's like the pursuit of adventure and the pursuit of in, in and the pursuit of like enthusiasm and and ones are inspiration. So it's 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 an inspirational energy in itself. Yeah, you're manifesting like a beast at the present moment. You're working with the dog and there's a victory in that. And you're working with the divine. Uh, there's some sort of legacy in itself um, trying to be created. But I do see the harmony and the balance of the children on this card here which show that there's um, some sort of balance, which is why you would definitely want to release this devil um, over here, because that's what, what what he does. He plays on the mind, see? 
plays on that mind with thoughts and they just go around in your head, especially around old partners and things that break your heart and see they tear your heart. So therefore it keeps you trapped in that sort of mindset. And then that's the bondage that he holds there with that card. So what we do is we cover him up. But yeah, sleepless nights and things like that. We're going to get rid of that by releasing the burdens uh, of that Ten of Wands, which is the completion. Um, we're going to start to look towards opening that door. See, opening the door with the light on it to love and having those beautiful things um, and allowed to work with the universe and co-create with the universe to have those beautiful things. Libra, we're going to switch the decks so we can have a look. Yeah, beautiful. Something shocking at the present moment. Um, stay away from that devil. That devil's... um. Not, not a good type of energy, okay? It can uh, bring you down, okay? So when you're already feeling down in your life and um, you hit the devil with that energy of the toxicity and the malevolence and the subordinate mind will bring you back down even further. You know, that's why we say positive things in the morning when we jump out of bed at 555, 555 on the clock there, which uh, that is an angel number. That that 555 number means um, huge changes are up ahead. Trust that the transition is for your highest good. Prepare for massive shifts. Things are about to get exciting. exciting. Now, that's what the 555 number did say at 11 on the clock there. But it did show us somebody's about to be joyfully joyful. Um, and we did start with the, the, the tower there, which is shocking. It doesn't have to be bad. It doesn't have to be good. But it's shocking. Something that shocks your foundation. If you were to get into a lift one day and looking for money uh, or looking for a job, uh, that you'd walk out of the job, the lift with the job, if that makes sense. And that would be a tower, which is something that shocks you and changes your foundation. It doesn't have to be something bad. Um, we got logic. Uh, we've got extreme logic in that Queen of Swords there. We've got joy. Once you release and let go of whatever burden there is there in itself, or it also can be a final push. Um, and that's the final push of the um, devil playing on that gold mine. But then with the devil next to it and the Hierophant next to it, we've got like the balances of, of good and evil in itself or negative to positive, yeah? Or the balances of masculine to feminine in itself, okay? Because uh, the devil is dominance and the Hierophant is... Um, creativity in itself the spirit is trying to pull you towards calmer waters and and have that rite of passage for your life yeah so we don't have this stuff going on but with that card there in itself it's like um joy watch out for the um people playing on your mind okay you see they're playing on this kid he's crying there and they're all laughing and, and he's just snickering looking back but then pulling the calmer waters like spirits trying to pull you away from some sort of bullying harassment some sort of times in the past where you may be trapped in your mind you may actually be going through this with people people may not actually believe that you've got things going on in your life and then therefore that plays on your mind you shouldn't have to be defending yourself to people that you don't have to worry about yeah and it creates these sleepless nights and things like that when you're doing that sort of stuff you may be spending a lot of time thinking about your legacy you're thinking about growth uh thinking about whether a partner's coming in whether you're going to get the job and things like that spirit saying i'm going to pull you to calmer waters with joy and and your enthusiasm yeah this um when they when they want these bad things for you oh yeah trust your intuition you probably came through these places and times where because she's crying in that card around some sort of family okay and some sort of legacy and then this is ill health being left out in the cold this is um um ostracizing you know being put down and things like that and then we did have the trickster energy there with the devil that plays on that mind with um hollow victories and things like that but it's like it's like spirit saying they're pulling you away from it because we do have this here and then the, the connection to the horrifying is right there above it with that enthusiastic energy but it's like spirit saying yeah no 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 not for my Libra, not for my beautiful soul, my beautiful soul, they can leave my soul, beautiful soul out a million times, but at the end of the day, I will not prepare a table for my beautiful soul that they can't see that, and that's going to be beautiful, isn't it, yeah? And that's how hard working you know, you've been in your life, yeah, because you deserve to have the abundance, because we go from the um, Knight of Pentacles to that, with that logic here, you can see that she's extreme logic, she's got that sword up like that, with the hair saying, come on, come on. You can see that. She's um she's strong willed, man. She'll defeat you with her words, she'll defeat you with her mind before you even get in it. And that's the like the strength of releasing that burden of um that devil there. Let's come straight back out again. It's the same card here. Yeah, it's the same card here. You've worked very, very hard on yourself. Spirit would like to let you know that. You can see that you've very that's literally your worth. You worked very, very hard on yourself, um, and there's good news coming. Um, and just got to heal because you've healed or you've healed in some sort of way. But that Ten of Legacy has come out multiple times. It's also here at the bottom of the deck. I pulled it out before with the harmony and balance of the children in there. Um, and that is your sign of um, balance. I hope you're lovely and happy and, and feeling safe. You're kidding. It's literally come for the same same um, cards twice. Um, I've got 78 cards in this deck. 
Um, watch out for any bullying and harassment, okay? And anybody telling you you can't do things, tell them to go away and stay out of my energy, if that makes sense. So just say, stay out of my energy, and if they don't move, move them, get them out, or if walk away, do whatever you got to do, protect your energy at the present moment. Spirit's about to give you something that's a beast of a thing because you made a wish in itself, and you need to, that's literally the card that I'm saying, protect your energy. See what she's doing in that card there? It's got spirit behind her in that star. Okay, and she's come through all of that crap, pushing it through. And she's like, "Man, I'm I'm coming through. Move out of my way. Don't play with me." Yeah, yeah. Um, that's beautiful energy. You can see the King to the Queen of Pentacles as well. Very abundant in your mindset. Uh, maybe very abundant in your life, but um, that's also masculine to feminine mindset, or it could be a couple that I'm dealing with or speaking to. But you can see your spirit saying, "Release your burdens." It's like a final push at one zero four four. On the clock, which breaks down to one four four, which breaks down to a nine. So we're saying um, you're very strong and very courageous and very beautiful at this present moment, especially what you've been through with a broken heart. See, um, see that card there? I love this card. This is a broken heart, and it's a horrible. I don't love the broken heart, but I love this the way that it explains it. Spirits within you. Um, all of high honor is within everything. Okay, that is life. Okay, um, and anything that is matter, um, and it comes down to a quantum level. Um, you can see the eyes above the door crying, watching over you, yeah? And that symbolizes that God, the high honor, your angels, ancestors, and spirit guides cry with you when you cry. And spirit don't like that, all right? Because above that, spirit's trying to pull you to, I'll show you. Spirit's trying to pull you towards a new one, pull you away from this sort of stuff, see? Pull you away from this sort of stuff. Uh, because it's just, it's sorrowful, sad, and things like that, so it can show, you're not supposed to have a bad life, you're supposed to have a good life, um, everybody's given a good life when they're born, but they're um, changed over time by life itself, yeah, because you're a king of cups, uh, king of cups, and the king of cups is the king of love, somebody emotionally, intuitively intelligent, um, my readings are a little bit different, because they've got to be collective, I do them a very different way, I can't tell you what um, everybody's doing on a multiple standing point, but I can tell you, uh, what the energies represent, and then you glean from it what you glean from it. Yeah, but she's come back out again, and it's literally above you. How's uh, spirits going to pull her out of the um, situation, okay, with the power of your angels, strengthen your heart, uh, and releasing any burdens, but then this card come back out again, okay? So this is like infectious enthusiasm. It's um, it's a beautiful card to have. It's um, literally, it's like a, a, you are the dreamer of the dreamer that ignites the flame. That's the best way to put that. Look how cool she is in the card there. We've got more black cats there with black cats are good omens in themselves um, and the beautiful colors up there. It looks like a, a planet. It looks like a, a country in itself, these colors up here. Um, she's very cool. Um, yeah, so how the spirit's going to pull you out of that is by your enthusiasm, yeah, by actively staying the person you are, not allowing the devil in and releasing those burdens so you can have that beautiful time, yeah, no, don't, um, that can be creating memories and nostalgia, you can see that she's thinking back in that, um, thing about time, times like with the children there, um, in the card there, it's like um, a woman and child, they're thinking back, yeah, um, but yeah, the, the page of inspiration is you are the dreamer of your dream and you can ignite the flame of your life. And that is creative new beginnings as pages of new beginnings in the my readings. Um, they're not, they can be, if you were sitting in front of you, it'd be very different. That's a child. Okay. It can be childish actions. Um, it can be embracing your inner child and pages are messengers. Okay. But in my readings, they are new beginnings after learning the trials and tribulations of your life, the one through to 10, because not everybody's goes through to the 10 and then and then quits and then starts again you take those on to the next part and show yourself within the stronger energies as we get through the archetypes but it's like you're in a cultivating uh, magic flow of ideas and, and you have curiosity in your in your blood at the moment and you are honing in this skill in some sort of ways but you have a beautiful inspiration in some sort of way and that's how spirit's going to pull you out of it yeah with love absolutely love 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 we've got two more cards to go and then we're going to split the ending Oh wow! Look how many fish! Look how many fishies in the ocean! Look how many little fishies in there! Just grab one, huh? There's so many options coming for you. Just stay enthusiastic at the present moment and use your logic at times. Um, whether you're waiting on love, there's love potentially coming. Um, yeah, just that is so much joy. It's not funny. Look at her sitting up, Zen. Look at all those beautiful crystals. Look at the genie and the lamp on the bottom there. See the lamp? That's what that card means. Okay, so if uh, the star come out before, and that is like make a wish. This is like rub the genie lamp because there's a million of them come and just make a wish and the spirit will make it happen for you at this present moment as, a, as you co-create with the divine. 
um, and release you from that tripe trap in your mind, man, because that's what the spirit's trying to pull you away from is um, that sort of ostracizing um, and, 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 yeah, and trickster and devilish type of energies and, you know, and, and trusting more within the divine and having that faith in your own psychic abilities. Yeah, and no more ostracizing, as I just said it, no more ostracizing. Look, she's left on the cold there. Um, you know, especially around love and lovers, um, no, no more of that, using that, and you're an abundant one leader, and, and having that beautiful clarity and trust within yourself, um, that's a beautiful way to end, oh, you work very, very hard, um, I'm going to end it there, but I just want to say something, all right, Spirit is going to pull you out of the situation with your enthusiasm, um, Spirit don't like these situations yeah I want you to have beautiful legacies and um, like I was saying there um, with the ostracizing you know they can kick you out they can manipulate you they'll do whatever they want to do in, in themselves in order to make you feel horrible about yourself but that's not what spirit wants for you spirit wants the best for you 100% every day of your life um, and they can they can stop you from eating at their table but every time they do spirit says with you in that life and he says oh well fair enough I'll prepare you a bigger table to come eat at and they can't come and eat at yours. Have a lovely day, Libra, and take care.